Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome back. And firstly, Happy New Year 2023 to you all. And we are back today on Japanese Rail Sim Journey to Kyoto. Now, in the previous video, we did the Kurama line, which is the, uh, the red line you can see. Let me just show you. We did the full Kurama line. Uh, but there is a branch line, uh, which is the Aizen line, as you can see here. And I think we'll run this one today. This one's uh, a little bit shorter. You can see we are setting off from... Uh, now, let me get this right. Dema <laughs> uh, Demachiyangi. Demachiyanagi. That's, that sounds better, doesn't it? That sounds more Japanese. And we are actually going to... Okay, stand by. We're going to Yasi Haizanaguchi. Once again... Apologies to any Japanese speakers uh, for me uh, butchering that. But yeah, this is the branch line. Uh, you can see we follow the main line um, up as far as... Uh, what is that station? We'll remember when we get there, but we <laughs> can see most of the line is, is the same as the main line. Then we do branch off to the, uh, to the right hand side for a couple of stations. So let's dive straight into it. This, uh, at the time of recording this, this is still in the sale. Let's take the hood off. So, you can still pick this up a little bit cheaper. Certainly if you're on PlayStation and PC, you're not sure about Xbox, just check out. There's a young mother there on the left-hand side, with a child waving at the, uh, at the train. Doors are closing. Let's go. Now, I've not been on this since the last video, so hopefully the controls are still familiar to me. It's been uh, it's been a week or so, hasn't it, I think, since the last one. So, we do have a couple of stations to do that you will be familiar with before we uh, branch off. So we just need to take it easy out of this station. There are a few speed restrictions, as you can see. Nice and easy, does it? It is a fun game. As I mentioned in the previous video, at first I wasn't, I wasn't quite sure. Because it's a very quirky idea, this. And I don't know if there are other sims that are like this. But actually, it's good fun, and lots of you as well have told me in the comments that uh, you're glad that I've brought this to the channel, and you've taken a look, and being it was on such a good sale, and not particularly on PC, I think it was 70% off, uh, lots of you have actually picked this up, which is really nice to see. I've had this on my list for quite a while, um, but it was about 50 quid. I didn't quite think it was worth 50 quid, and I still don't. Now that I've played it quite a bit. But at the price it is now, I think it's a steal, especially if you like trains. So, yeah, go check it out while it's, uh, while it's still available in the sale. Right, this is the station. Helps if I remember which the brakes are. A bit rusty on the brakes. Seven metres. Seven metres over. That's fine. So we need to get the doors closed and then we'll be underway again. Chayama is the next one. There we go. Right, let's get up to speed. We'll do 35 kilometers per hour. Leaving the station. I'm still not quite clear. The target speed though is 35. I'm still not quite clear on how how fast we can actually go. See there, it says reduce the speed to 35. It will let you speed for a little bit above 35. Because there is a maximum line speed, which is like you mean at that. Now, maybe I need to look up Japanese railways and just uh, check that out to see what the rules are. Because it could be that I'm just not familiar with it. Chayama. Let's get some break. 
tanks in as early as we can. This was easy to the line. There we go, that's good. Happy with that. So, as you can see, the uh, loading of the passengers is all done where well, we can't see it because uh, this is a recorded sort of video. Unlike other train sims we've got where we actually do the passenger loading ourselves, this is a little bit different. You can find to the limits of the recorded video, so let's put the hood back on a little bit. See the hood is just superimposed over the top. That's why I've been taking it off. You see, see how much of the view it actually cuts out. So we'll do a little bit of more for things here. There you can see. Uh, going up this Eisen branch, it is actually a different train to the one we had on the Karam branch. You'll notice a different, uh, a different layout there on the dashboard. Once again, I can't come out of the train to actually show you what the train looks like, something which would be nice. 130 meters. Five meters over. So, as we set off, once the doors are closed, release all the brakes. Put the master control. You can actually, uh, you can whack it up to four. Four is the maximum. There's no wheel spin or anything like that, so you don't need to worry about the physics. You can get it straight up to the 35. Let's just go slightly over. Let's go around 40 and see if we can play. This is all speed for a little while before it completes. Yeah, so the, the, the actual layout of the dashboard is what it is. It's, uh, I mean, if you look, the, uh, the speedo is actually working. Take the speed off here, a little bit of speed to lose. This is one of the ones the approaches has got speed restrictions as you can see there on the hood. Uh, the needles do move in the speed on, on the dashboard, but that's about it. Everything else is uh, is not animated as much. That is uh, the, the train there on the right, you can see, that is the type of train that we use when we're running the main line branch. This one is slightly different. Brakes on. Can we get green? It's close, isn't it? 1.2 meters. I think I'm going to take that hood off again. I much prefer this view. All right, doors are closed. Let's go. Let's lock it up to four. So you know if you go at the correct speed at half the time, because you can look at the pedestrians at the side. If they're doing comedy work, you know you're going slightly too fast. If you're at the right speed, they will naturally be moving along. Same with the vehicles. Just keep your eye on the pedestrians and the vehicles at the sides. You'll see what I mean. It's easier to see it with the pedestrians, of course, because the uh, vehicles can walk fast, can't they? Sugar Kuin is next. Range of 50 
Let's go. Look how close together all the houses are as well. I mentioned this in the last video. But I know that real estate in Japan is, is pretty expensive. You don't get a lot for your money. I'm speeding slightly because of that speed restriction. Uh, now, if you're going up the main line, of course, we take that left-hand side that you can see there. That's where we normally go. But as we're heading up the Eisen branch, this is where it, it branches off to the right-hand side. So, let's see how good we do with the stop. This branch line is very uphill, as you'll see as well. It does. It is a little bit of a challenge coming back down the other way. So you have to be good on the brakes. You don't need much acceleration on the way back down. So you'll see. You'll see what the gradient's like. You can already see actually. If you look at where we're heading compared to the uh, the Karama line, uh, let me just pump the horn at these guys. See the workmen there. Let me just get back to where I was. Uh, yeah, when the workmen are there, sometimes get points for that. Look at that guy in the back of that truck. Um, if you hunt the horn at the workmen, they sometimes give you a plus five. Yep. Didn't do it then, probably because I was getting mixed up in all the points. <laughs> this doesn't help. Anyway, here we go. We're on the eyes of branch now, finally. So, uh, Let's get up to speed. Because you can see there at the top of the hood, um, we've got an allotted time there. And if we don't get to the end within the allotted time, we fail the mission. So you do need to, uh, you know, keep the speed up, as it suggests, to make sure you don't run out of time. Let's get some brakes in. Right, we're a little bit short, aren't we? So it's complaining. And that time is going down all the time. Let's see what happens when we... Uh, Restart. See how much time it's given us. So it's given us 181. So, so the quicker you arrive, the more time it adds on for the next leg of the trip. If that makes sense. So let's keep to speed on this point. Let me know what we're now. There aren't many stations. I think we've probably got another couple of stations to do. This one is over a kilometre away, so this is uh, quite a good distance, this. Speed it up. Right, it's complaining to us now. Let's drop it back down to 35. I did look up the developer of this game just to see if they've done any more. I couldn't see any, certainly not on console. I couldn't see any more, but I, I really do hope that they uh, bring out more of these. It's really interesting. 500 metres, uh, 109 seconds we've got. I see there, plus five for sound in the horn. Eighty-seven seconds. I don't actually know if this is the last one in line. Really sure the speed restriction, so I have got to get some brakes in. Again, gotta get some brakes in. There we 
go. Right, 62 seconds. This actually is the end of the line, I think. This is the last station. What have we got? 56 seconds left, so we're all right. Let's just stay under that speed restriction. So the lady commentated said there's a cable car here that takes you somewhere. So those of you who are familiar with the, uh, the area will know all about that. This is the final station. People filming us on mobile phones. Now that wasn't my best run, that one. 1,406. I think I've had over 2,000 in a previous run on this one. So, you know, keep practicing, keep getting better. That's what I'm going to do. It is actually easier when I'm not talking. <laughs> as you would expect but listen i hope you enjoyed it uh, that is the eisen branch in uh, journey to kyoto um eyes oh challenge yourself to become the eisen master i don't think i'll get that far i don't know i will keep practicing hope you've enjoyed it if you've not checked out the run of the karama line and that's what this one is now you can see here uh, in the titles and the credits uh, check that video out see what you think you can still pick this up in the sale, so um, it's worth considering if you're a train fan, certainly. Um, it's not often that things like this come to console, so uh, yeah, go and check it out. Leave me a like, don't forget to subscribe. Happy 2023, everybody. See you in the next one. Bye for now.